Hello there, welcome to Energize with Emily. Today we're going to be doing a lower body strengthening workout. And I love showing you guys you can get a great workout in with limited time, space, and equipment. Today I'm going to be using my 15 pound weights. You can use 20s, you can use 10s, 8s, whatever you have. If you don't have weights, you can use soup cans or water bottles. But I'm going to be using my 15 pound weights. The setup of the workout today is going to be 12 exercises, no repeat. So we're going to just do the exercise 45 seconds and then we're going to do a 15 second hold and then we're going to rest for 20 seconds. So that's going to be the setup. Like I said, no repeat, 12 exercises should be done in about, I don't know, 20 minutes. So like I said, limited time, space and equipment. You need your water bottle, a towel, your weights and a positive attitude. We're going to get started with our warm up. I will show you guys modifications for all the exercise, but generally with the weights, you modify by not lifting as heavy. All right, but let's start with our warm up. We're gonna start with butt kicks. All right, and I'll always show you guys modifications. Step it out like this, take out the impact. Keep that core tucked in. And now jumping jacks. You can step side to side, just like this, take out the impact. Windmills going forward. I'm gonna go back. We're gonna go do toe touches. Quad stretch, because we're gonna be working those legs today. You guys, stretch out those legs. Really stretch out those quads. Woo, keep those legs together when you do it. Hold on to a chair if you need to. All right, we're gonna do a arrow lunge over here. Stretching out those inner thighs. All right, let's get on the ground, you guys. We're gonna do those runners lung, runner lunges. Bring that arm up. Switch legs. One more on each side. Alright, you guys, well, next what we're gonna do is downward dog. Stretch out those hamstrings, alternating heels up, one heel, then the other. Whew. Gotta warm up those hamstrings. Walk your feet to your hands. Slowly come up. And that's our warm up, you guys. Alright, get some water. I'm gonna show you the first exercise. charge my phone here. Alright. Okay you guys, our first exercise is gonna be a front squat. All right, if you guys are ready, I'm gonna show you guys. So like I said, I'm using my 15 pounders today. I'm gonna to put them at your shoulders, just like this. All right, what you're gonna do, squat, come back up. I'm gonna show you guys the side view. Squats, are, you gotta focus on form, I always say. Focus on form, especially with strength training. All right, so you're gonna put your feet shoulder width apart, weight through your heels, like you're sitting in a chair, come up. It's through your heels. When you come up, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your glutes and then that's for 45 seconds and then we're going to hold it like this for 15 seconds if you can. Then we'll rest for 20 seconds. All right, you guys are ready. 
That's gonna be our first exercise. All right, all right, here we go. 45 seconds, weight through your heels. Go at your own pace, like you're sitting in a chair. Squeeze the glutes when you come up, breathe out when you come up. Remember we did this for 45 seconds. And then we hold that squat for 15. Woo. Almost there. Five seconds. All right, we're gonna hold it. Whew. 15 seconds. Oh my goodness. Whew. Why didn't it just say for 10? Oh my goodness. Whew. Almost there. Oh, you did it. Whew. High five, high five. 20 second rest. Show you the next exercise. Get something to drink. It's gonna be a split squat. We're gonna do it with the left leg back first, like this. All right, we're gonna do it for 45 seconds. And then you're gonna hold it there. And then we're gonna do the other side. Whew. All right, you guys are ready? Here we go. Left foot back. You modify by not going down as low, by not lifting as heavy. Remember, go at your own pace. Most of the weight is gonna be through that front leg, through the heel. You have weight through that back toe, don't get me wrong. But most of it's through that front heel. Oh, that glute should be feeling it. Oh, go your own pace. Oh my goodness. Almost there. Less than 10 seconds. And then yes, we hold it for 15 seconds. All right, here we go. Hold. Try to keep those knees at 90-90. Oh my goodness, you're almost there. Yes, you guys, this is tough for me too. A couple more seconds. Oh, you made it. Oh, 20 second rest. Rest longer and pause it if you need to. Okay, if you guys are ready. Right foot back. Here we go. Try to get those knees at 90, 90. Straight down, straight up. Core tucked in. Go at your own pace. I always say, you guys, focus on form, not speed. You have the wrong form, you can hurt yourself. Whew. Almost there. A couple more seconds. Are right, you guys going to hold it here? Hold it. A few more seconds. You're almost there. And you're done. Woo! High five. Oh. All right. Next one is single leg hinge. Okay, what you're gonna do, you're gonna hinge at the hips. It's like this. And you touch that foot back. Come back forward. Hinge at the hip. Come back forward, and then we're gonna hold it like this, if you can, for 15 seconds, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, you guys, we're gonna start with that left leg back. Here we go. Weight through that front leg, that heel. You're just tapping 
that left foot back. You guys are doing awesome. Less than 10 seconds. And then yet, remember, we have to hold it. Side view, okay, here we go. You're gonna hold it. See if you can hold it for 15 seconds. That leg should be wobbling like mine. Woo! You think those muscles are working. And you made it. Oh! 20 second rest. Oh, we're do the same thing on the other side. Whew. So we're gonna tap the right foot back this time. You guys are ready. Here we go, right foot back. As they always say, focus on form, not speed. If I'm going too fast, you can slow it down. Most of the weight through that front leg, that heel. Okay, we're gonna hold it this time. You guys ready? Sometimes one leg has better balance than the other. I think my other leg had better balance. Whew. Gotta hold it here. Five more seconds. You're almost there. Oh my goodness, yes. My leg is on fire too. Oh, he made it. Oh my goodness. Whew. Five exercises down. We're going to do sumo squat next. Whew. You can do this one weight or two weights. I'm going to do it with the two weights. All right, what you're going to do, like this, feet separated, toes angled out, down, up, down, up, and then you're going to hold it for 15 seconds at the end. All right. Whew. Here we go. Sumo squat. 45 seconds, sumo squat, 15 second hold. Modify by not going down as low. Remember, I always say FOF, focus on form. When you come up, squeeze those glutes. You're doing awesome. Almost there. Less than 10 seconds. And then we're gonna hold it. Hold. Hold there 15 seconds if you can. Wait through the heels. Five more seconds. You're almost there. Woo! You made it. High five, high five. Oh my goodness. I'm doing more longer than a 20 second rest here. Gotta get some water. <sighs> Next one's gonna be a side squat. Just one weight. Let me show you here. Pull it at the top like this. We're gonna start with the left leg to the side. We're gonna do side step back to the middle. So you're gonna put your hips back and come up, all right? And remember, we're gonna hold it there for 15 seconds. Woo! All right. You guys are ready. Here we go. Side squat. Put those hips back, I'll do the side view. Hips back. Hips back. Remember, you modify, not lifting as heavy. 
You don't have to lunge as low or squat as low. Whew. Can't believe we have a 15 second hold in less than 15 seconds. We have to hold this position. Oh my goodness. You can do it though. A few more seconds. And we're going to hold it. Weight through this leg that's the knee is bent. Most of the weight's through there. Five seconds left. You can do this. Almost there. Yes, your leg's going to be on fire. You made it. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh. High five, high five. Woo! Do the other side. Yes, this 20 seconds goes by fast. Take a longer rest break if you need to. I'm going to get ready to do the right side. You guys are ready. Here we go. Side squat to the right. Hips go back. Woo. Go your own pace, you guys. FOF. I know you're always going to hear me say that, especially on strength training these days. Focus on form. That's FOF. You're doing awesome. Whew. Less than 10 seconds left. Then we have to hold it for 15 seconds. Here we go. Hold it, 15 seconds. Less than 10 seconds. Whew. You're almost there. Five seconds. Whew. You did it. Oh. High five, high five. Alright, let me show you our next exercise. It's gonna be a reverse lunge. Right, your reverse lunge, you guys. What are you gonna do? Start with your feet together. You're gonna step, we're gonna do actually the left leg back first. So you're gonna step with that left leg back, back in, left leg back, back in, and then we're gonna hold it like this for 15 seconds. Whew. Oh my goodness. You guys, we're, almost, we're over halfway done. Right, over halfway done. We have four more exercises to go. You guys are doing awesome. Let's get these reverse lunges done with. Step back with that left foot to first. Here we go. You want to try to get those knees bent at 90-90. Modifying by not lunging as low. Go forward for you. Less than 20 seconds left. Whew. Remember, then we have to hold this position for 15 seconds. Whew. Almost there, you guys. Get a little extra there. Almost there. A couple more seconds, and you made it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Step back with the right side this time. Okay, 20 seconds goes by fast. You guys are ready. Here we go. Reverse lunge with the right foot back. Most of the way, let's use that front heel. Whew. Less than 20 seconds left. there. 
Five seconds left. We're gonna hold it. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five seconds. You're almost there. Oh, you did it. Woo. High five, high five. Oh. Get something to drink. I'm taking longer than a 20 second rest. Whew. Yes, I'm getting tired too. We have two more exercises. Next one's gonna be side goblet squat. So you guys are just gonna be using one weight. All right, just the one weight. We're gonna do this. Side goblet squat, side to side. So then after the 45 seconds, we hold it like this for 15. All right. All right. You guys are ready? Get that way. Side goblet squats. Go at your own pace, you guys. If you're going too fast, you can slow it down. Modify by not going down as low on the squat. Less than 10 seconds. You're almost there. Couple more seconds. Right, you guys, we're gonna hold it. 15 seconds. Oh my goodness. Let's run fire. Wait through the heels, you guys, wait through the heels. Five seconds. You're almost there. Legs are on fire, legs are on fire, and you're done with it. Woo! Oh, high five, high five. One more exercise, you guys. We're going to go to the ground for this one. All right. This one is going to be a single leg glute bridge. Get my timer over here. Okay. What are you going to do? Oh. I'm going to get one way. You can do both of them if you want. Let me see. I think I can do it this way. Yeah, but I think I'm actually... That's the last exercise. Last exercise, I'll use both. Why not? But you can use one across your hips. So what we're gonna do, you're on your back. All right, if you're using two weights, you have one on either hip. What we're gonna do is alternating glute bridge. Just like this, single leg glute bridge. And then after the 45 seconds, you hold it up here for 15 second glute bridge hold. All right, last exercise, you guys. Woo. All right. Here we go. Get those weights ready. And here we go. Single leg glute bridge. Your weight is gonna go through the heel as you come up. That heel that's on the ground, put the weight through that heel. Your weight's on your hips. Fifteen seconds left. We're almost there. Let's see. Five more seconds. All right, you guys. We're gonna hold it. Fifteen seconds, and then we're done. Almost there. Less than ten seconds. A couple more seconds, and we're almost there. On. You guys, we made it. Woo! Oh, high five, high five, you guys. We made it, we made it. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh, so proud of you guys. Oh. All right, what we're going to do next, we're going to stretch. Woo! You can't forget to stretch. It's going to help prevent injuries, help with flexibility, and so you're not so sore. 
Ready? So what we're gonna do, since we're down here, let's do child's pose. Next, what we're gonna do is runner's lunge, but you guys are gonna do a little different. Knee on the ground. Gonna come forward, stretching that back hip. Lean forward, and then you sit back. Stretch out that front hamstring. Whew, we just work those legs. We gotta stretch out the muscle while they're warmed up. Sit back. Go forward. Let's go to the other side. Oh, it feels so good. Last one. Whew. All right, you guys are going to go back into downward dog like we did in the beginning. Downward dog, we're alternating one heel up. Then the other. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys did awesome today. It was a tough workout. But I don't know if any of my workouts are really that easy. I don't know. This is a tough one though. That's those holds were kind of tough. Coming up. Whew. All right, you guys, let's do our quad stretch like we did in the beginning. Get a chair to hold on to if you need to. I do sometimes my earlobe, that helps too. Whew. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Energize with Emily. You see me other workouts, lower body, do upper body, total body strengthening, cardio core hits, Sabato workouts, ab workouts, all that good stuff. So check out my YouTube channel or subscribe, Energize with Emily. Also, you can see the links, you guys, down below for my Instagram page, Energize with Emily Fitness, and my um, website, energizewithemilyfitness.com. I have different fitness challenges. I have an ab challenge. I have a five-day challenge. I have a 30-day challenge, you guys. So, and no equipment required for the workouts. No equipment required because I love showing you guys you can get a great workout and with limited time, space, and equipment. I also have meal plans that they're gluten-free or dairy-free, vegetarian, high-protein, low-carb, vegetarian. I think I already said vegetarian. There's something for everyone with my meal plans, you guys. And the range for the fitness programs and the meal plans are anywhere between $5 and $20. I have a lot of eBooks, $5 each. So many different topics you guys have been asking me about. So I did eBooks on so many different topics about health and fitness um, and different products I use to help me get fit and healthy. 46-year-old mom of two 14 and almost 18-year-old boys. Yes, and I'm in menopause, you guys. So I'm here to show you can get in shape in your 40s. I feel like I'm 26 and I'm 46, you guys. Don't forget, abs are made in the kitchen as well. Eat protein at every meal. Drink half your body weight in blue ounces of water a day. Don't forget your fruits and vegetables for fiber. You need your complex carbs, not simple carbs. You need carbs for energy and healthy fats as well, you guys. So you, like I said, you can find my meal plans. The programs you see me doing are part of a larger picture. I used to do hours of cardio at the gym. I have two kids, so I couldn't go to the gym very often, but I would do hours of cardio, dieting all the time. And I found this workout program. It streams through any device. And you can find out more about it on my website, energizedemilyfitness.com. The workouts stream through any device for all different fitness levels. I started out as a beginner five years ago, you guys. Using my three and five pound weights, you have to trust the process. I have arthritis in my hips and knees. You guys, so, you know, you just have to modify as needed. You're your only competition, but if you want to find out more about the program, like I said, check out my website, um, and I can help pick out programs for you. There's eight, over 80 to choose from, 2,000 workouts. So, yes, there's something for everyone. Um, so you can look into that, the products I use. Yes, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope you guys have a great day. And mindset is so important. Fuel your mind with positivity. And I always say at the end of every workout, when in doubt, what do you guys do? You dance it out. Notice how it makes you feel. Put on your favorite song and dance to it. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you later. Bye.